But I wanted to get back to your 21 million um, as if that's some kind of small amount, right? Well, each Bitcoin just represents an arbitrary quantity of Satoshis. So one Bitcoin is 100 one, million. 100 million. So there's 2.1 quadrillion Satoshis. Are Satoshis scarce? There's 2.1 quadrillion of them. Ooh, good question, Peter. Uh, actually, yeah, they are scarce. Um, when you take 8 billion people and you know the hard number of Bitcoin. Now, let, let me say this. There's not 21 million, okay? There's 19.3 million that have been mined. And it's about um, one point, whatever it is, minus 21 million. Um, 21 million minus 19.3, whatever it is going to be left to um, make up now until 21, the year 2140, right? Uh, they estimate there has been about four or five million Bitcoin have, have been lost. Satoshi Nakamoto in his wallet, he has a million. So there's about 13 and a half million, something like that. And a lot of them are already bought and people are holding them. So there's only about two or three million on the exchange, something like that. And I believe, you know, like I said, one point something million uh, going to be made. Um, there's eight billion people in the world, ladies and gentlemen. That's why he broke. That's why Satoshi broke it up into 100 million uh, Satoshi. So, yes, it is very, very rare. So it's not actually 21 million. And again, we know the number. It's only that many. And the number that we don't know, if it's, you know, whatever, it's lower than 21 million. We always know that it's only going to be 21 million times 100 uh, million Satoshis. Split by 8 billion people, ladies and gentlemen. So to answer your question, Peter, absolutely is scarce. Are they scarce? Well, there's 21 million Bitcoin. And no, but who cares? Well, no, it does matter. 21 million Bitcoin. But I don't need a whole Bitcoin. I'll just buy a Satoshi and I'm in there. Great. So there's 2.1 quadrillion of those. Okay. Now, the thing is, see, people say... there's a limited supply and that's what matters. No, but I, I don't need a whole Bitcoin. I can do just as much with one Satoshi as I can do with one Bitcoin, which is nothing. Because one Bitcoin has no value and neither do the Satoshi. So it doesn't matter if I have 2.1 quadrillion or just one. Well, you know, Bitcoin's value right now is nineteen thousand dollars. So Bitcoin no, that's has its price. No, that's its price. Right. So you have to understand the difference between price and value. Okay. Right. And price is what you pay. Value is what you get. So you can pay a high price, but not get a lot of value. Like I said, I can, I can, I can offer to buy your bracelet for a million dollars. I mean, if I offered you a million dollars for your bracelet, you'd take it, right? I don't know. It's my grandma's. Can you make? Oh uh, well, maybe. Well, maybe. Well, how about your shoes? I mean, a million, I'll give you dollars. For a million yeah. yeah, right. Well, am I going to get just because I paid you a million dollars for those shoes? Does that mean I own a million dollar pair of shoes? I think that's a very surface way of looking at it right now. I totally agree with you that a lot of people are looking to make quick money because they don't understand the value of it. But well, there I, is no value to understand. The value is that it's non confiscatable money, the most secure network in the world, decentralized. Well, I wait said, a minute. Like First of all, people have had their Bitcoin seized. I mean, criminals, governments yes, have seized people Bitcoin. Who, pe people who are dumb enough to hold it incorrectly on centralized exchanges <clears throat> where you would hold the tokenized gold. So mm -hmm. I would never advocate ever for holding your Bitcoin or your gold tokens on a centralized exchange. Always hold it in a non custodial way. That way, it can never be seized. They tried to do it in Canada. They literally reached out to um, companies who provide the non-custodial software wallets or um, hardware wallets. They said, can we have the names and the addresses of those people that own those funds? Can we have them? And they said, we can't. We can't mm -hmm. stop it. It's, that's by design. Nothing in the world, but it, but is, nothing in the world is the same as that. Preach. She, she's exactly right. They tried to get the information from people and they couldn't do it. You know what I mean? That 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 is so true. Again, guys, with Bitcoin is not your keys, not your coins. I Meaning, if you don't have, if you don't keep your uh, Bitcoin on a, in a cold storage um, to get to the blockchain, and you keep it on a an exchange um, owned by Coinbase or whoever, it's not your coins. Just like with silver, if you have it on paper and you don't have the physical silver or gold or platinum, it ain't yours. If you don't hold it, you don't own it. Not your keys, not your coin. She's preaching right there, ladies and gentlemen. You know what I mean? There's never been a money that does that, that you can hold your money in your head and travel anywhere. And it's non-confiscatable. It's crazy, man. Right. But if you if you exchange your Bitcoin, right, there's going to be some kind of record of it. They'll be able to track you down. There's some kind of imprint on the blockchain where 
the coins have gone from one course, wallet to another. Of course, don't do that. And the idea so, so, is... So just have your Bitcoin and never use them? Just keep them buried? Use it, because the idea is... At, look, well, Bitcoin's you, only, <laughs> because Bitcoin's only 12 years old, right? So as time goes by, there'll be more acceptability for it. How do you know? It. What I mean, happened? as far as because I can tell, how much has happened so far? No, there's hard, the only thing that's happened over the last 12 years is you have more people gambling with Bitcoin. I don't go into any stores where it, they're taking Bitcoin. No prices, no goods and services are priced in Bitcoin. Bitcoin is no more used as a medium of exchange or a unit of well, account today. It's not today priced in gold it either. It's not priced in gold but, either. Well, I know because and gold. It will be. No. It was at one time, uh, years and it will again. It's easy to price things it in gold. It will again? You think, yes. you, think, you think I'm going to go down to the shops, get some bread, and it's going to be priced in gold? I think there will be plenty plenty of uh, no merchants. Way. When there's a lot of inflation, no people way. either they'll price it in gold or they'll price it in a currency that's backed by gold. The, the world has been on a gold standard for thousands of years. There have been pockets of time where the world has experimented, not on a gr as grand a scale as right now, but individual countries have gone off the gold standard, gone to fiat, the currency has collapsed, and they go back to gold. Right? Everybody always goes back to gold because gold works. It's the best money that we've invented as, as, you know, as man, men. A couple things. I, I do agree with him, and he's right about that. We, we've always gone back to gold, right? But I don't agree in 2023, 2024, 2025, or whatever, that things are going to be priced in gold. I, I just don't believe that. You know what I mean? We're in a techn technological world now. Everything's digital, so I don't think that. That's number one. Number two, I don't think gold is the best money. I'm, forget Bitcoin for a second. I think silver is way better than gold. Way better. It's way more undervalued. It's m way more divisible. Um, it's recognizable. Not as recognizable as gold. Um, but, you know, look at this. These right now, these uh, mercury dimes, they're worth three, four bucks, five bucks some places. I can get a gallon of gas with that. How, how are you going to do that with gold? You know what I mean? Yeah, you can you can exchange stuff for gold, sure. But if I had to right now not use Bitcoin, but use a precious metal to exchange with every single day, it'd be silver, hands down. Gold has been used for thousands of years, and that's absolutely right. It has all the way back to Moses, you know, that they were using gold then. But we live in this new digital world where everything is digital. And I think we need money which can cater to that. For example, I went for lunch the other day and um, I was getting the menu and the menu was a QR code on my phone. So the menu is now digital entirely on my phone. I'm reading books. I'm using Kindles. I'm not putting vinyls in when I'm that's listening true. to music. Everything is digital now. So we need let's, money, let's which is also let's digital. Um, wow, this is blowing my mind. I promise you guys, I didn't watch this. Man, me and, me and Leia are on the same page. Wow, we're like connected. It's crazy. I'm going to have to try to reach out to her and see if we can... The analogy, so you went and had lunch. Did you have digital food or real food? Of course, they had real food. I'm right. not a real oh, person. Exactly. So money needs to be real too, right? You can't just replace gold with digits and claim you have digital gold any more than I can eat a digital sandwich and, 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 and say I just had lunch, right? Or I'm, I'm living in an actual house. There can be a digital house, can't live in it, can't keep me warm, right? I'm not going to get any shelter out of a digital house. So there are some things that have to be real. How are you going to get this huge adoption when, you have, when it has such bad reputation all around the world? Great question. So that's sort of implying that it's a Ponzi scheme, essentially, because it's like, well, if nobody needs it and everybody pulls out or money, pyramid, then it's like pyramid, no pyramid, or right, for sure, know. right. But Bitcoin doesn't need all these investors in order to survive because the fundamental utility is still there. What money, which is non-confiscatable? It's not money. It, well, it is money because money is something which no, you know, no, I, money, I can buy money. and sell goods with it. Gold, on the other hand, is totally confiscatable. People have been confiscating gold since the dawn of time. Whether it's Franklin, <laughs> no, D. Ro Franklin D. Roosevelt, he didn't. He, 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 I literally read about it. I was reading all about it yeah, today. But, but he literally said to people that you force them to sell their gold below the no, below the market no, value. No, no. So what Roosevelt did is he issued an executive order and he said, if you have gold, you have to turn it in. Right, and we'll right. give you dollars. Right. Exactly, you most, have to turn it in. Yeah. Excuse me, I, I don't want you to turn in my gold. This is my gold. Right. But this most, is my money. I am a sovereign individual. Right. Why are you telling me what I can and can't do with my but, money, Mr. Government? Right, but a lot of people didn't turn in their gold and nothing happened to them. It's not like the government- I don't want to take that risk. That's like, they, it that's, like that's like you don't have to pay your taxes. Well, that's like you pay your taxes, but I'm not going to pay my taxes and hopefully nothing but will happen the, to the me. But the government didn't send troops 
they might door to door they looking for to. gold. Look, gold I'm is terrified. gold is very hard to confiscate because you can't. If I have no, gold, no, it's not. They can knock on the door. They can how, come and take right, it. If I have gold, I, buried, excuse me, I have a warrant for your arrest. Let me in your house. No. Where, where's your gold? If you don't tell me your, where your gold is, I'm going to take you to jail. Okay, I don't well, want they, that. I don't want to be. All right, all right. I have a warrant for your arrest. Tell me where your Bitcoin wallet is. I don't have is. any. Well, why, we think you do. Okay, go look for it. Well, how they're not going to find my gold either. Well, of course they can. They can. They, of course they can. They can look so for they it because it's physical and it exists in a Well, isn't isn't thing. your Bitcoin stored on something physical? You have like a flash drive, or even if you wrote down your seed phrase on a piece of paper. It's not on a piece of paper. It's in my head. Oh, your whole your your whole seed phase is in your head. Yes, because I you're, understand what, what it means to be a sovereign individual, and, and, and I do not and, take that lightly. So then, what if you forget it? Well, I won't. Well, how do you know? Well, I have I have backup plans. What? Well, where, where are those? I can't tell you. Well, see, well, maybe the government will find that. Good luck. It's at the well, bottom of, my keys well, are at the bottom <laughs> of the river. The, my keys are at the bottom of the Florida well, Keys that's, well, maybe, with my guns as Maybe well. that's where my gold is too, right next to your, your seed phrase. Your gold is in a vault. We know your gold is you in a vault. You know where my gold is. The I government sure the government does. Look, you've got some gold around your neck. I you've got some gold. I David. I have this Yeah, you have gold in there. That's, that's, where, that's real value. That's worth more than your Bitcoin. Well, it, it's not, and I, I can't get a cup of coffee with this. I can't run a business well, with this. I can't. Well, you um, could. Point, you could sell it, and then you can go buy. But I wouldn't. I would, you know, I use other it. gold. But I you, but, but if you want to buy Bitcoin coffee, you have to sell your Bitcoin to buy your coffee. Right now, there are of course uh, these um, intermediaries which allow that exchange. Yeah, to but happen. you can do that. Of course, you, you can but do eventually, th- as mass adoption grows. But yeah, how do you know it's going to grow? Because it's already happening. No, it's not. It is. No, it's not. You can go to New Hampshire, like I no. said, and you can buy coffee. There are places well, yeah, where I come yeah, from maybe in London you can where you find, can accept coffee. Yeah, maybe you can find a lone coffee shop that's owned by some Bitcoin fanatic that is like, you know, oh, I'll take Bitcoin. And maybe every once in a while, some other Bitcoin fanatic happens to visit that coffee shop and they do a deal. Uh, But it's very rare that it's happening. And it's, you know, I would say personally, fewer companies probably are marketing that they take Bitcoin than they were in 2017. We're in a bear market right now. Well, we've been in a bear market for a couple of years. No. But yes, we have. We, had, we were in a bull market last year. That's yeah, sure. that, 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 that's over. That's long of gone. Of course. But as, <laughs> as, as, as time goes by, we'll continue to, I think the bull market will come back. Well, it, you, yeah, we might be in a bull market when Bitcoin goes from 5,000 back up to 10,000. But it's all going to be part of the overall bear market because then it'll go from 10,000 down to 1,000. And then maybe it'll go from 1,000 up to 3,000. Oh, it's a bull market. And then it goes from 3,000 to 300. Right. And, you know, you get, but we're, we're headed lower, right? The, the, it's, the market has peaked and, and now it's just about how much longer does it take for the rest of the air to come out of this bubble? <laughs> Peter is funny. He will not give in on this Bitcoin thing, man. He just will not. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's that's it's like talking to you, some of you guys, man, some of my silver stackers that watch my videos, gold stackers. You guys just do not want to hear it when it comes to Bitcoin, man. My God, it's funny. No. I'm going to paraphrase Elon Musk here. Elon Musk says something really interesting and it's kind of um, a touchy <laughs> subject. So just bear with me the way I mm-hmm. try to paraphrase, par- paraphrase this. He basically said that death is good, right? The reason he said that death is good is because um, it allows <laughs> new ideas to come. That's what he said, okay? I know it's, it's a little harsh, but that's what he said. So back to the coffee shop example. Right now, yeah, it's only Bitcoin fanatics that accept Bitcoin um, at these coffee shops. I agree with you. But as this new generation who really understands digital technology, Gen Z, my, my, um, my generation, millennials, as we become older, we approach our 30s, our 40s, our 50s, we are going to be doing business in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Right I, now, I actually pay people in Bitcoin. I 100% agree with her on that. Um, I'm, I'm 48 years old. I was born in January 1975. Uh, the reason I have silver, ladies and gentlemen, is because I need a certain percentage of silver, and even though I love Bitcoin, I think Bitcoin is the best by far over over silver and gold. I, I just do because I, I I just know what I know. Okay, and if you start studying both of these, you'll you'll see. And it's great. It's not a knock on precious metals. I love precious metals, but Bitcoin is just something we've never seen. Um, if it wasn't for my age, because if Bitcoin does go to zero, because it may go to zero, I, I don't know. It's either going to work or it's not going to work. It's as simple as that. There's no, oh, it may work a little bit or it's going to work a lot. No, it's either going to 
take over the world or it's going to go to zero. There's no in-between with Bitcoin. But because there's a slight chance that it goes to zero, I need to have precious metals because of my age. I can't afford to put all my money into Bitcoin because I'm 48. I don't have time because of my age to, oh my God, lose all my money, then stack back up. But I'm going to tell you this right now. If I was her age, my daughter's 21, and I tell her, oh, you need to buy some precious metals, honey, and get some Bitcoin. She doesn't give a damn about precious metals. The young people don't care about this. Now, the ones that don't know about Bitcoin and their parents taught them about it, of course they do. I'm not saying everything's 100%. But for the most part, if they looked at both of them, because these people play video games or on the internet all day, and they transact in digital currencies and these cryptos and stuff. So if I was that age and I was in my 20s and had time to start all over from zero to, you know, whatever, and I was 21, I'd be 100 percent in Bitcoin. Well, there may be a lot of people that own Bitcoin now that may be thinking death is good soon. They may be wishing they were dead. <laughs> Peter is <laughs> he's funny, man. I, he makes me laugh. I can't lie about that. Uh, that's but, you know, natural I, literacy. But, we need to teach people <laughs> to invest carefully, especially, you know, with things like gold, whatever you're investing yeah. in. You need to be careful. That's right. financial literacy. Like my advice for Bitcoin. all of you young people who are about to get wiped out in Bitcoin, right? Just use this as a life lesson, right? The best part about losing your money when you're young is that you have a lifetime to earn it back and to learn from those mistakes. So in the future, you don't repeat them and lose even more money. And so I'm not concerned about millennials getting wiped out in Bitcoin. I mean, okay, you know, it's like, you know, lesson learned. Uh, and hopefully the people who, you know, got, went from fiat, paper fiat to digital fiat, maybe they'll find themselves to real money and they won't forget what they learned about free market and stuff like that when they went off on this a bad tangent into in, 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 in in Bitcoin. I always think people should be responsible for their own financial decisions. Yes. What people do has nothing to do with the value and the utility of Bitcoin. So I think it's a shame when older people get scammed. I think my grandparents are getting scammed right now by some fake Amazon caller. <laughs> you know, it's unfortunate when that happens, obviously. But that has nothing to do with Bitcoin. I could call an old person up and say, hi, I've, I've got some cheap gold for you. And you know, and then you, are you, what are you going to blame gold for that? No, of course not. Criminal activity happens and you can't blame the, yeah. the vehicle. What, what I think is fraudulent about Bitcoin is the entire thing. I mean, if you, if you look at how Bitcoin is presented, it looks like a coin and it's gold, right? It's meant to look like gold, except it's nothing like gold. It's not a coin. It doesn't have a color. It doesn't have any of the metallic properties of gold that can't be substituted for gold in any area where gold is used. Um, how is Bitcoin created? It's mined, like you mine gold, but you don't mine Bitcoin, you, you solve a math problem. How is that mining? Um, calculating. Okay. Look, I, I understand. So it's all, it, the terminology is all meant to confuse people, to, to get them to believe that what they're buying is something similar to gold. When Bitcoin has nothing in common with gold. It's That's, the opposite I mean, of gold. I, I got to tell you, man, uh, Peter is good. You know what I mean? He, he is good. And if I didn't know what I knew about Bitcoin, he's right. It does, you know, the mining thing and the, and the coin and the gold color. It does make you think like it's gold and stuff like that. That's, that's true because you're not actually mining, you're hashing. You know what I mean? Bitcoin is not a coin. It's digits. You know what I mean? It's not a color of gold. It's just, it is what it is. So he, he has a point there. I, I give him that. If I didn't know what I know... That, that is true. But you got to put you got to put a face to the digit. You can't just put, you know, electricity or something like that. But I understand, you know, and again, if I didn't know what I knew and I, if I were you guys and didn't study Bitcoin on my own and just listen to silver and gold people talk how bad how, how bad Bitcoin is and listen to Peter Schiff, I, I would think that, too. And I did think that way until I did my own research. But what I disagree with Peter entirely is when he says about sending the gold, a paper gold, that you know, a piece of paper is backed by gold. I don't believe in that. Yeah, you can do that. He, he's right. You can definitely do that. And again, he sells gold, ladies and gentlemen. You know what I mean? So he hasn't, he hasn't asked crime. I'm not selling anything. I'm not sell, I do sell precious metals. I'm not going to lie. But I'm not trying to sell you Bitcoin. I don't make any money off that. But I don't believe in selling a piece of paper backed by gold because, again, if you don't hold it, you don't own it. You know what I mean? If you're not sending me the gold, it's not mine. Period. End of story. You could send me a piece of paper that says I have the gold, but it ain't mine. So she's right. It does cost money to send gold. And it, and it is, uh, you know, uh, caution or something could go wrong in the mail or something like that. You know what I mean? I completely agree with that. Peter's good, man. I'll give him that. This is a good debate. This is, this is excellent.
Well, it has a lot in common with No, it doesn't. Yeah, of course it does. It does not. I would be happy to say that Can you conduct electricity with it? No, but can it you doesn't make matter. Out of you it? can do other things with can it. it. Can, I, a, can you do cross-border payments with gold? No, of course not. Is yes, there, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I you, can. It's very expensive. Are you going to no. ship it across the world? I can ship it for it's free. Cost, how, how I, all I have to do is have my gold me. stored and have a and 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 you know ship it ship the ownership transfer the owner. The gold doesn't have to move. Just my that's, ownership that's of the gold. Can, no, it's of not. It's bad. No, it's not. Because 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 then it's basically paper receipts and we're back to no. But the gold no, it's 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 a it's a no, it's not a fiat currency. It's real currency because it's backed by gold. Well, what I'm just saying, we're, we're back to what we were doing. Look, I, I want to make sure that I can I can flee when I need to flee. So as an yeah, example, just so it's a really important yeah. example, right? I, I always like to talk about Nazi Germany. I think it's an amazing example. The Nazis were there. They were taking the, the valuable possessions, including the gold of Jewish people, right? If they had their gold stored in, in Germany, that would be a big problem. Are they, are they comfortable fleeing? Yeah, but what if they had their gold stored not. in Switzerland and they just had a digital... Well, they did. It was thought, it was, doesn't matter. It's I know. Well, in okay. It's well, in Germany, and, and that and that's bad, right? So when they want to flee and go to another country, how on earth are they going to do that? How are they going to deal well, with that? Well, now At though, you don't have Bitcoin. to do that. Exactly, because we have Bitcoin. Isn't no, that you have. You so can, we can you, flee you without can have Bitcoin. A, no, you can have a tokenized gold. You can own gold in a token form, the same way you own Bitcoin. The actual gold can be in Switzerland. It can be in Singapore. It can be in Dubai. It can be someplace that you don't live. It can be. It can be confiscated. And that's a problem. But the, mar but the problem with Bitcoin is the value can be confiscated because it has none. It's a price. What if you're relying on your Bitcoin? Hey, I've got all this Bitcoin that's safe. But when you go to wa spend it, nobody wants it. The bubble has popped. You don't know what Bitcoin is going to be worth in 10 years. It may be worth nothing. Right. There's a very good chance that it won't have any value. I mean, maybe I'm wrong and maybe it will go there, up. There's a, look, but, there's a chance. You but there's no the chance that gold's going to be worthless in 10 years. It's just not going to happen. I don't, I don't know. I don't well, know why would it be? I don't know. All I know is that people, <laughs> people would say oil would have no value. Um, people would well, say oil will always have value. And then the March 2020 crash happened and it was trading at negative prices. Well, so that, uh, I don't know. What well, it Black still had, you know. I don't know what, not really, because nobody needed oil because we were all locked down. So I don't know what Black Swan event right, happened but that to was, that was gold oil. either. I, that was only physical oil for delivery at that moment in time. Mm. But if you looked at oil prices for a year forward, they were still positive. They were only negative if you because people had to store it and people had no place to put it. Right. And so if you got stuck with physical oil and you had no place to put it. So people were paying people to take the oil off their hands yeah. because that, that was a confluence of events that temporarily depressed oil. But obviously oil was cheap. If you could have if you had a place to put it and, and someone paid you thirty dollars a barrel to store oil, it's ninety dollars a barrel. Now you made a lot of money buying cheap oil. Uh, but there is no cheap Bitcoin because no matter how low the price is, it's still overpriced. <laughs> Peter is a he is a hilarious man. So let, let's talk about what he just said. First of all, Leia's Leia's wrong, okay, and Peter's wrong. Peter's saying that uh, you know Bitcoin, you know, may go to zero, and and again, I he could be right about that. Excuse me, he could be right, but Leia's definitely wrong, saying she doesn't know if, you know gold uh, won't go to zero. Gold will never go to zero, guys. Even if Bitcoin is two million dollars a coin, nothing is going to stop gold from being priced at whatever it's going to be priced. At. It will never go to zero, and neither does silver, especially silver because it has utility. But that that was a funny exchange, and they were right about the oil thing. But that was funny. Peter hates Bitcoin. He, he hates it so much. He's a comedian with it. You know what I mean? It's it's just hilarious. But I definitely don't think uh, Bitcoin is going to zero again. They, there may be a um, chance it will, uh, but for me, I don't think it will. That's your opinion. And I, I think, and I really think Bitcoin will be here in 10, 20, 30 years to come. I think we're moving into a new digital world. And as um, we see more government intervention, I think the purpose of Bitcoin will become more apparent to people rather than just gambling like a casino. Um, I think for me, the most important part is sovereignty. The fact that I can flee any lockdown when it happens. The fact that you don't know how much I owe. Nobody can see anything. And it's that being that sovereign individual, I think, is more powerful when it comes to Bitcoin than it is with gold. I still think gold is very valuable you know i don't i'm not <clears throat> looking to push gold down but i but i do see value in bitcoin and i think yeah. that um i think that you will one day too do you own bitcoin uh no i don't have any bitcoin um and i have no have interest. you ever owned any bitcoin i did own some for a while that was gifted to me but i lost the password and so they're gone they're, so they still know. exist. You just what you just weren't being responsible with your seed phrase. Well, the person who actually set my wallet up 
never even told me the seat ways and never told me the password. All I had was the pin and I knew the pin, but all of a sudden my wallet stopped accepting my pin. And that's what I thought was my password. So that was my first How four. How did they give it to you? Was it, was it on an exchange in a- It was in a wallet called, a um, um, what was it called? Block, um, uh, crypto, I, I forget. It was Eric Voorhees and his buddy. They set up the company. I had a debate with him in Soho in New York. Mm -hmm. And then we went out to dinner and he gave me like a hundred bucks worth of Bitcoin or 50 bucks worth of Bitcoin. And over time, other people just gave me some Bitcoin. Uh -huh. So I never bought any, yeah. but I, I ended up with like a third of a Bitcoin. That's, that's what I had. And so, you know, I have no access to it, but you know, it's no big deal. It would have been nice if I would have sold it and got some money out of it. But well, I can help you get access to it. And then no, when Bitcoin can. goes back up, <laughs> when Bitcoin goes back yeah. up straight to the moon, you'll be even richer. No, so no, it's, 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 it's not going to the moon. Um, it's coming back down to earth. You know, and in fact, it, it may be buried deep beneath the earth, but with you, the you, gold. you may be with all that extra gold. You, you may, you may be right, line. though, about digital. I mean, it, digital is revolutionary and, you know, it could transform our monetary system. Gold could be the basis of digital money. I, I believe that, you know, there's 21,000 altcoins. Do you I'm know not that? pro altcoins, 20... though. I'm not, I'm not interested in altcoins. But what the hell is the difference? Knows. What's well, the difference between them and Bitcoin? Limited supply, centralized, no, some of them backed have, by VCs. Some of them have limited supply. Well, some of them are backed by VCs. They're not but, but, decentralized. But, but, the technology is terrible. But, well, you just can't a lot of them have better technology than Bitcoin. Some of them, well, because what they do is they <laughs> sacrifice um, the security for efficiency. So they have bigger block sizes, and that's really dangerous. I'm happy with sacrificing certain types of efficiency in order to have the best level of security. But you think, but, but you think nobody is going to come up with a better they Bitcoin than Bitcoin? I'm open to it. Yeah, then, then, what, then your Bitcoins are worthless because now everybody we'll wants something better. We'll see if something better comes along. And but then you're right screwed now, when it does. Not necessarily, <laughs> not necessarily. But I think we'll have to agree to disagree. Yeah. You are Mr. Bitcoin. But, Sorry, you are Mr. Gold. <laughs> I am Miss, Bit Miss Bitcoin to agree to disagree there. Well, I'm Mr. Bitcoin. So if you're Miss Bitcoin, does that mean? Yeah, well, there are a few other missed Bitcoins. I've run into a few of them. But um, I don't think you're going to have to wait for something to come along that's better than Bitcoin. I think Bitcoin will self-destruct on its own before that happens. So, uh, you know, it's not going to be like a long term. You know, you, you don't have to wait much longer. OK, I look forward to having this conversation again in a few years. And I hope that your gold is not confiscated. I hope nothing is confiscated <laughs> of yours so that you can remain a sovereign individual because that's really important. Um, well, I've had things confiscated, but not my gold. Yeah, no, I understand. Yeah, uh, we yeah. won't get into that. But yeah, um, yeah. I want to thank you so much for coming on. And where right. can people, where can people, you know, follow your work, see what you're doing? I have a podcast, uh, yeah. the Peter Schiff Show podcast. So people can go to shiftradio.com. They can go to my YouTube channel and, you know, listen to the podcast there. If they want to get some gold, you know, shift gold, right? Which would, they can use Bitcoin to buy if they wanted crypto, because you Yeah, crypto. well, we, we enable you to sell your Bitcoin so you can buy <laughs> some gold, yes. Peter, I want to thank you so much. It's been such a pleasure. Right. I think we have to agree to disagree. Um, <laughs> and I'm sure we'll have another conversation in five years where Bitcoin is much higher, probably sooner than five years. Um, and then we'll, we'll pick it up then. All right. Thank you so we'll much. We'll do it. My brothers and sisters, that was one heck of a debate. I had a lot of fun. That was probably my, my favorite debate I've ever seen with uh, Bitcoin and, and gold. I'm not going to lie. Michael Saylor and the other guy with uh, Daniel, Dan, Daniela Camboni. And um, I think it was 2021. Uh, that was a good one too. But let me, let me tell you what I, what I think, what's going on right now in the world. Um, we're, we're fighting the evil regime right now. Uh, the silver stackers, gold stackers, platinum stackers, Bitcoin stackers, and even some cryptocurrency stackers, right? Um, about 250 years ago, uh, before this was written, um, you had some loyal to, loyalists, people that were loyal to the crown, the British crown, and then you had people that were rebels or, you know, people that went, went, wanted to go against this uh, tyranny that they went, you know, when the when the taxes went up a couple of percent and they were ready to fight because uh, what what Great Britain was doing to, uh, to, to the Americas was absolutely ridiculous. And what did they do? They, they met in bars and taverns and, and different houses, and they tried to uh, meet up to go against the, um, the evil regime, you know what I mean, according to them. And there was only a small portion of the country that wanted to do that because that was, it was sure, sure death, you know what I mean, for these people, uh, these brave, brave men and women that wanted to go against um, the evilness that they felt. And they did it anyways. 
this is, you know, and you had different people from different, you know, parts of the country and, you know, had different ways to do it, do it. You know, some people were sailors, some people were, were army men, farmers, you know, people that made boots who, who did with horses, whatever. They were all different. This is exactly what it reminds me of with the, with the stackers. You know what I mean? Precious metal stackers and, and Bitcoin stackers. Um, we're in this together, ladies and gentlemen. And for my Bitcoin stackers, listen, I, I know you love Bitcoin and everything else, but, but you need precious metals. You just need them, you know, especially silver. You got to have them. You know what I mean? It's like fighting a war with just ships, you know, with no men on the ground or, you know, airplanes. I know there was no airplanes back in the uh, 1700s, but 250 years ago, they, they got together despite their differences. Um, my silver stackers, gold stackers, whatever. I, I'm I'm begging and pleading you guys to get off zero when it comes to Bitcoin. And I need you to do three things for me when it comes to Bitcoin. Uh, number one is get you a little bit. Get off zero. Just get off of zero. That's number one. Number two, learn everything you can about the little bit of Bitcoin that you buy. And when I mean a little bit, just get your Bitcoin insurance. Just get a little bit so that if something happens and if it goes to zero, you won't lose any money because that was just some coffee money or something. Spend 50 cents a day or a dollar a day or a couple of bucks here or a couple of bucks there that you're going to you know, spend anyway. I'm not talking about your silver money or your, your, your cash savings or your bill money, anything like that. Just throw away money, BS money. That's the second thing. Uh, third thing is once you learn about it and once you buy a little bit of it, um, take it off the exchange and, and, and put it in the cold storage. Because even if you only have 10 or 20 bucks of it, I am telling you right now, however many Satoshis that you have, it's going to be so valuable in the future if it does what it does. Because it's either going to go to zero or it's going to go to a lot. And what I mean by a lot, I'm not talking about in fiat currency. I'm talking about in purchasing power. I don't give a damn about fiat currency when it comes to this stuff, guys. I don't. The same thing with this. Okay? You know how they said the British is coming? The British is coming? The CBDCs are coming. The CBDCs are coming. And we need, we need to work together, ladies and gentlemen. I refuse to participate in that. And that's why I have this. Okay? And we need both. We need our ships. We need our uh, land uh, vehicles. We need our air strikes. Uh whatever, but we all need to work together and be on the same team, all right? Please consider that uh, Bitcoin stackers to get you some silver and silver stackers and gold stackers. Get off zero and get you some Bitcoin. All right, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm going to try to make some more videos. Uh, I've been really, really busy, um, but it's been fun. You know, it's been fun. That was a fun video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, all right? So let me know what you think about the video. Let me know what your thoughts about silver and Bitcoin is, and uh, let me know what you, you guys' overall thoughts on the video, all right? Uh, please, guys, in the comment section below, do me a favor, guys. If you like this video, hit the like button, only if you like it. If you guys like my channel and my videos, go ahead and share it. Guys, am I sharing stuff with you? I'm sharing my heart and soul here, the Constitution, silver, Talking about gold, Bitcoin, and everything else. I'm talking about this, my love for this country and my love for you guys. And I care about you guys. I'm not making a dime off this, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not getting no subscribers. I'm not getting any views because both of you guys hate me. But I got to do it, man. I, I got to tell you the truth, man. You know, I'm shooting myself in the foot, but I don't give a damn about that. I care about you and yours. And I care about this country, man. And let's fight for it. Don't let these evil people win, man. We cannot let them win. So silver stackers, get off of zero with Bitcoin, and Bitcoin stackers, get you some precious metals, all right? God bless you and your family. God bless this country. God bless this country. My goodness. I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. I love each and every one of you, all right? Peace and love, guys.